A320 to A318, A319, A321. Familiarization Briefing. Fuel Presentation. A320, Mentor Channel. Fuel Presentation. In this module, we will compare the A320 fuel system with A318, A319, A321 ones. Only differences will be highlighted. The fuel system of the A318 is the same as the A321. You now have had a general presentation of the A318 fuel system. The fuel system of the A319 is the same as the A321. You now have had a general presentation of the A319 fuel system. The reservoirs on these two aircraft are located in the same areas. In the wings and, in the center section of the fuselage. The total usable fuel quantity is similar on both aircraft. The left schematic represents the A320 fuel system. Let's build the A321 fuel system schematic together. On the A321, there are no outer tanks. Therefore the tanks are simply called left and right wing tanks. On the A321, there is no direct fuel feeding from the center tank to the engines. Note. On the A321, in emergency configuration, the left and right pumps and the wing tanks remain available. Two jet pumps are located in the center tank. Fuel transfer from the center to the wing tanks is controlled by transfer valves. As soon as the transfer valves are opened, fuel from the wing tank pumps flows through the jet pump and creates a suction in it. This suction moves the fuel from the center tank to the related wing tank. The Fuel Level Sensing Control Unit FLSCU automatically controls the fuel transfer valves. The rest of the fuel system on the A321 is unchanged. Let's now compare the two ECAM fuel pages. The A321 fuel system has no outer tanks. The center to wing tanks transfer valves are represented. Let's summarize the A321 transfer valves display. There is an automatic center to wing tank transfer. 
The transfer valve are open whereas they are commanded closed automatic or manual mode. On the A321, fuel is always fed to the engines from the two main pumps of the wing tanks. This is not the case for the A320 since a center tank to engines feeding exists as well. The A321 fuel control panel is very similar to the A320, except for, the links between the center tank and the wing tanks, indicating the fuel transfer end. The label center tank transfer instead of center tank pumps. Let's briefly review the indication corresponding to the mode cell push button and the center tank transfer push button switches. The FLSCU has an automatic control of the transfer valves. They open if the associated wing tank is not full, they close as 5 minutes after the center tank reaches its low level. The center tank transfer valves are opened. The crew controls the transfer valves manually by using the center tank transfer push button switches. The center tank has more than 250 kg of fuel and the left or right wing tank has less than 5000 kg. The mode cell push button switches is at auto. With the mode cell push button switch set to manual, the corresponding transfer valve opens. With the mode cell push button switch in auto position, the transfer valves are automatically controlled by the FLSCU. The corresponding transfer valve is closed. The corresponding wing tank overflows. When the wing tanks are full, to prevent a wing tank overflow, the center tank transfer push buttons must be set off. The push buttons must be also selected off when the center tank is empty. You now had a general presentation of the A321 fuel system. A320, Mentor Channel.